It is my belief that a society that cannot be civil is in danger of not becoming a society at all. I quote from the website Organizing Engagement below. Civility defined. The principle of civility in organizing, engagement, and equity work refers to social interactions in which participants maintain respect for one another and demonstrate respectful behavior toward one another, even when they disagree. The practice of civility can help diverse groups of people develop a deeper understanding of one another's beliefs, values, opinions, and perspectives, which can reduce the likelihood of misunderstanding, stereotyping, disputes, and conflict. For example, the intentional practice of civil discourse is often used to help people work together to solve a problem, make a decision, execute a project, or resolve a conflict. Civil discourse is also used to expose shared values among individuals and groups with seemingly incompatible beliefs or worldviews. While civility occurs naturally in informal social interactions, it can also be intentionally learned by individuals, developed in organizational and community settings, or activated in facilitated group discussions. Because the absence of civility is a common source of tensions, conflicts, stereotyping, and other negative behaviors in groups, organizations, and communities, particularly among groups from different socioeconomic, cultural, or racial backgrounds, promoting greater civility is an often cited goal in organizing, engagement, and equity work. The preceding of course describes an ideal society and there are limits to what offense people should be expected to sustain before defending themselves. The dignity of the human person means that when insults to our nation, faith or family are obnoxious we retain the right to rebut such comments. Where people make threats of a physical kind or facilitate such environments they bear a responsibility for what goes on in those environs. It is ultimately not enough to say, they will say what they want anyway, when you have created an environment which is conducive to hostile and unpleasant comments. Yet there is something to be said for the forthright racist or bigot. One knows where they stand with them. It is the figure who cloaks his words in good cheer and slips the poison in the glass via stealth we should be truly wary of. We live in a society, whilst it may be difficult at times to remember that it is better than not doing so. The uptick in hate from both the left and right has polarized our societies. Many of the commentators one sees on YouTube or elsewhere seem determined to dehumanize people. I have made no secret of my religious faith, I quote from Galatians below. Galatians 3 verse 28. King James Version. 28 There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. The listener might of course reply they are not Christian, and they might also note that this argument can be carried so far as to be an example of what T. Jew Coles has to say below. The banality of evil transmutes into the banality of sentimentality. The world is nothing but a problem to be solved by enthusiasm. T. J. Cole Cole is quite correct, sentiment alone does not fix issues. I come from a culture which had to engage in its own civil rights struggle and suffer due to that. Sometimes that is needed. Whilst the ideal of society is one to upsire it is for men and women of charity to do so in a style which respects the humanity of others. But to also not ignore the abuse of others.